Recent news that Dr. Tom Stewart, the CEO of Niagara Health, had traveled out of country during COVID-19 just this past December, irked a number of healthcare workers across the region. Joining us now, we welcome Brenda Allen of the Ontario Public Service Employee Union, Local 215. Welcome to the program, Brenda. Hi, Mike. How's it going? Uh, it, let's, let's get right into it. Talk about how angry your members were that the leader of the organization had taken off, had left the country for Christmas. Well, you know, yeah, I heard from a good number of my members. They really were disappointed. I mean, to the extent some were very outraged. You know, they've been working so hard, so tirelessly throughout the pandemic. And the stresses have, you know, they've come and they've, you know, they've sort of settled a little bit. And now we're into the second wave and things are even worse. You know, here we have a leader who, you know, really actions speak louder than words. And, you know, to be, you know, dismissing public health guidance and going out of the country when, particularly when Niagara is in such a terrible state with the rise in COVID cases in our community. It was just, it didn't sit well with them and they let their voices be known. They did. To me, to our president, Lynn Guerrero, um, they, they certainly were vocal and they spoke up. It's really led to a lack of faith in leadership overall. I mean, not just Dr. Stewart, but a number of politicians were also revealed as having traveled during this time. And those same politicians also giving us advice not to travel. Absolutely. Absolutely. You've got to walk the talk as a leader uh, and you're, you're held to a higher standard, right? That is just the way it is. And if you're providing a message, then, then your actions need to, to mirror that message and if not, then you really shouldn't be in that leadership role. Now, some of your members have altered their lives from what I understand. Some of them still, when they come home from work, trying to stay isolated from the rest of their family. Uh, all kinds of different changes to their own lives, never mind just canceling vacations, for many of them not being able to actually get some of that money back as well. So this really undermines their efforts, and, and that's the point you're trying to make? Absolutely. They, you know, they have worked tirelessly and, and they really, you know, they were crushed when we weren't even acknowledged. The majority of my members did not receive that bump up in pay with the pandemic pay earlier in, in the pandemic. Um, but, you know, they, they are sacrificing and they come to work. Um, you know, think of the early days of, of the pandemic. We were, you know, coming to work and the guidance from the province was, oh, no, you know, if you're staying six, you know, six feet apart, you don't need a mask. Um, and the, the information is just constantly changing, constantly evolving. And to keep up with all that information, it just added work to their day um, to make sure that they're protecting themselves, protecting their family. You know, they've also had the same struggles as our community, trying to find, you know, emergency child care so they, they can get to work. And, you know, sometimes, you know, we rely on, say, grandparents to watch kids. Well, sometimes grandparents aren't so comfortable watching, you know, grandchildren where their parents are going into a hospital setting and putting themselves at a greater risk for exposure to, to the, the virus. Um, and they themselves too are, are, you know, aging and maybe have their own health concerns. So there's been struggles with uh, childcare, um, just keeping up with the changing information. Uh, and then of course, you know, just before Christmas, the outbreak in Niagara Falls really made uh, life a struggle for many of them. So many of them uh, did, you know, test positive and faced a holiday season where they wouldn't be gathering around a table even with their immediate household. So these are sort of some of the things that they have to, to face each day. But they do, you know, they do. I, I commend my members. They are like the hardest working, most professional group I've ever, um, I've ever met. And I'm very, very proud to say that I'm the local president for my office members. Thanks again for joining us. Thank you.